Good morning, Ginger. Good morning to you, Michael. Up to a half inch of ice. This is kind of that shuts down roads, and you can see that in Wintergreen, Virginia. So there, where the heavy rain is at the coast, and I think with the winds could impact flights. And then the heavy snow at Adirondacks through Vermont, New Hampshire, the green and white mountains there into Maine, where we see Augusta down to, say, Utica, New York, under a winter storm warning. We're talking storm warning or a, a lake effect snow warning for up to one or two feet maybe even three by the end of the weekend, start of the week when we get this going. So lots to talk about, Cecilia. Wait till you see how cold it is next week. Uh, I can feel it already. Wrap up the tornado week, because what a week it has been. And I wanted to also put in perspective. So we had at least 58 reported tornadoes. Average in December, 28 for the United States. So we well surpassed that just this week over the states from Oklahoma there to Florida. Wanted to bring that in, but also I promised you a look at how cold it would be going into next week. So. Who asked for it, huh? Who sat on Santa's lap? Was it you, Michael? No, it was me. That's for All you. All right, well, that's how cold. That's by December 25th Oof. with the wind chills. Oof, 26 below. <laughs> I'm still going to blame you. Yeah, All right, let's get you local weather now in 30 seconds. That's not fun. Your photo. Photo. I'll wait. Michael, you got one? I know <laughs> you can't. You can't beat Olive and Drake. West Coast, much below average in the southeast, even Florida. So you're going to have to go west if you want to get warmer. And a quick look at the lightning that also came with some of that tornadic activity in Louisiana. We slowed it down there because it was really stunning. Now, coming up here on GMA, Prince Harry is saying in the new docuseries that the stress in their battle with the press may have led to Megan's miscarriage. Dr. Ashton is here with the facts that all women need to know. And Emily and Paris stars Camille Rizab and Lucian Laviscount here to talk to us about the new season. And then it's my turn for 12 Days of Christmas Cookies. Half-Baked Harvest, Tegan Gerard and I cooking it up. Stick around. In that. Hey, Ginger. Hey, Michael. Speaking of wind, we are going to see really windy conditions behind this one. But first, it's up to seven inches of snow, and it's wet snow that's fallen in parts of St. Petersburg. They did not have injuries, thankfully. But we're going to move this thing, which is rainy at the coast right now and breezy already. With it said and done, I'm going to try to push that thing out faster, but man, it's going to stick around through early Saturday. So we'll have to hold on to it, and that's where the snow adds up. And then you start getting the lake effect, which they have a warning for, including Buffalo to the south. They could see one to three feet. Cecilia. And I'll be following. I have a gift for California. A little bit of good news. Last week, the exceptional drought was up here around 13%. This week, we've cut it by almost 5 plus percent. So this is a big deal when you make a dent. Unfortunately, it's a mega drought. It's going to need a whole lot more than that. And it looks like a dry pattern setting up. Now we're going to have those offshore winds. We could see very gusty winds, 30 to 50 miles per hour even in some of these places that are highlighted, Santa Clarita included. Let's get a check now, a little closer to home. Is Sir Richard Branson, who is at the helm of a new cruising experience, and you're going to tell us all about it. Yes, what makes this cruise different? Well, it's for adults only. This segment is sponsored by Virgin Voyages, and this cruise, with Virgin's signature attention to detail and high style, is going to be one to remember. So GMA contributor Megan Wright went on board for a VIP tour with Sir Richard. Sponsor Virgin Voyages and Sir Richard Branson for giving us that exclusive tour. It does look like a lot of fun. All right, let's get a check now a little closer to home. I've already started doing the cooking, and right here, we're taking them out. These are the chewy chocolate ginger molasses cookies, and this recipe comes from this woman right here, my friend, author of the best-selling cookbook, Half-Baked Harvest, and a true social media star. Nearly 5 million followers now. And I feel like I was one of the OGs because I've been there for a long time. I've been a long time follower. <laughs> it's so fun. It is really great to have you back. Thank you. We are going to make obvious. Great day and a great weekend.